Uh, Ray Jams, November 27th at 10.32. <laughs> so I'm charging my phone at the same time. And I'm actually wearing makeup because that's what I do when I'm bored on the bus. <laughs> I know I, that's so easy just to like put makeup on when I'm at home. But, but I, yeah, I just always doing something else. So this time I actually have makeup on. So I'm planning on doing a promo for my Twilight Zone thing, um, so stay tuned for that. So I went to save on and I just uploaded a photo with the uh, elf, I thought that was so cute, elf on the shelf. <laughs> so they're promoting um, Christmas Rice Krispies, and I was actually going to buy it, but then I was like, I forgot I need vegan marshmallows, so no. <laughs> so I didn't get it, but I thought the elf was cute. I love elf on the show. I gotta buy one on payday. And if my phone goes, it means my mom's calling because I've been trying to call her back, but her phone's busy. So it's like, why is it whenever I call people? People always call me in my sleep. And then whenever I call people back, they're either out or they're busy. So it's like, ugh, I hate the phone sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else gets that, but people always seem to call me when I'm busy. So I didn't buy too much this time. But I'm drinking my coffee because uh, I don't have my energy pills, unfortunately. Um, I want to see if I don't have to take Josephine to the vet because I really can't afford it. And if it's just a checkup, because I just took her in and I paid for the medication. So, she's doing pretty well. I mean, her eyes are a lot better, so... Hopefully, if I send them a message on Instagram, I won't have to. Because I'll be like, yeah, I can't really afford the money and the time to bring her in right now. And she's fine now, so... I don't think... I think it was just for, like, a checkup, just to make sure the medication is working. But it's working, because her eyes are a lot better, so... Um, I'll show you guys what I bought. They had my coffee creamer. Yay! That's the whole reason why I went. So, guys, no, I can't live without it. <laughs> this and coffee. I can't even afford my energy pills. So... Even though I'm getting the refund, it's like that's going to pay for like groceries till the end of the month. Because I really don't want to borrow any money this month. But in that way I still have $30, so that's not too bad. And then payday is like on the 20th and I stocked up on groceries. So like I said, I'm trying to live cheap. But I bought coconut oil and almonds for almond flour. But then I forgot you need to pay the date, so I bought the date. And, um, I keep reading. So, whenever I see these on the street, I always pick it up. I used to always carry scissors with me and throw it in the garbage there. But this time, I just put it in my bag because I forget. And then when I get home, I cut it and throw it in the garbage. So that's what I'm going to do now. Because it's bad for the environment. And if you guys have seen the movie Happy Feet... People laugh at me for picking up garbage and cutting it. I'm like, haven't you seen Happy Feet when the bird has it around its <laughs> neck? So, oops, can't even see. <laughs> so, if you pick these up and cut them because the birds are silly. I don't think you guys see what I'm doing, but put this back 
here. So yeah, like I said, I always pick them up. And then I just take them home and I throw them in the garbage. Because, like I said, it's bad for the dolphins, the whales, the penguins. And then people are like, but you're picking up dirty stuff off the street. I'm like, so I wash my hands and then I sanitize it right after. <laughs> Afterwards, I'll wash my hands. So, like, it's not really that big of a deal just to pick it up. And, like, it really annoys me when I see it. The other thing that annoys me, even though I'm a smoker, whenever people leave their butts on the ground and it's burning, I just step on it to, to let it out because of it could, even in the cold, it still start a fire. So, it really pisses me off. But I don't pick up, like, all the butts, obviously. But it's like, geez, it takes two seconds to step to step on a cigarette butt. So that's my pet peeve for smokers. See, I'm a nice smoker. So I bought uh, pierogies because you could only buy these ones. At, they don't have the mountain overalls, the potato and onion, but they have all the other flavors. So that's why I usually go to, that's the only time when I go to save on and they're like three ninety nine. dollars They are vegan, uh, other than the palm oil. But like I said, if it's between getting bacon and cheese, pierogies or pierogies with palm oil, I'm going to get the ones with the palm oil. <laughs> There are uh, vegan pierogies, but they're freaking expensive, and a lot of them still have palm oil in it, anyways. So it really bugs me. Just like um, the vegan butter, people are like, "Oh, you should get, you shouldn't be using vegan butter." I'm like, you just, I don't like making it myself because they gotta wait overnight for it, and I don't like the taste of coconut oil. So <clears throat> yeah, some people are just picky, but. You can't be 100% vegan in this world, unfortunately. It's just the way that it is. Like, stuff around my house, it's not 100% a drywall and all that. And that's if you're making this stuff from scratch. From scratch. TVs, cell phones are not, are probably not good for the environment, so people need to stop it's so judgmental. <laughs> Especially vegans. So, um, I didn't buy too much, like I said. So, all together it came up to $24.36. So, I got the. Because Josephine's not eating her medication and I have to force it down her throat, and I hate doing it because I keep being bit. Um, <clears throat> I got her and speckles this kind of cat food to see if that's going to help. So I'm going to mix the medication in this. And hopefully it'll work because this is a cat it fish dinner with the white fish and pumpkin and then pumpkin is good for cats. So I didn't know that they made a cat it made cat food but it's expensive. This was $2.19 for a small little thing. So I'm not, I don't get it all the time, this is just a treat, so hopefully it works. <laughs> I don't have to give the medication yet. 
And then I got... Where does nature is nuts? Oh, um, so the day trap she won't sell. Which is pretty cool, so that a big thing. And with the... My card, I got 50 cents off, so it was 3.50, I guess, because it's 4.99, so that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that. But like I said, I bought um, coconut oil and almond flour, but you need dates to make vegan chocolate. Uh, Tix bars or like other chocolate bars. I, I want to try to make Snickers, vegan Snickers, and... Kit Kat bar bars too, but you also need dates, so I just got this one. So, we'll see if it turns out or not. Uh, the Big Man's World, I wanted to do his version for the Twix, but like I said, I don't have coconut flour. And last time I did it, it didn't really turn out, so I think it's because I didn't have coconut flour. And then I just remembered I could have bought, actually I had coconut... Uh. I'm going to try the Big Man Grill recipe because I had coconut shreds and I don't really like it. So I think if I put this in the food processor, this should make coconut flour just like almond flour. So I'm going to try that. So we'll see if that works. <laughs> so I'm going to do that tonight after I give uh, Josephine her medication and talk to my mom. Or like, uh... Yeah, after I give Josephine her medication, it's almost time for medication. I'm trying to do it now like around 11, because I, I've been getting up at 11 a.m. But I'm trying to get up earlier, it's hard. And like I said, I got the Progi, so that was $3.29. And then I got Wisco, uh, mushrooms are $4.49 for a big thing. But it's pretty much that price anywhere anyways. And of course I always remove it out of the plastic and put it into the bag. And then I got um, Busca's treats because they're $2. They're $3.99 a dollar off. So I got them treats because this is a big deal and just need so much medication. I'm like, well, I got to... Uh, do something in the meantime and actually I'm going to set up my food processor with you guys before I do the medication oops you guys have seen me do the medication so many times I can't wait till it's done to be honest <laughs> so let's see if that works <coughs> so it's, it's going to be loud though. <laughs> This is what I do with almond flour, with almonds, and to make almond flour. So let's see if I make coconut flour. Should probably should. Oops, I need the bottom part.
<laughs> oh, there it is, right in front of me. This is the bottom part of the food processor. The only problem, though, is that now I'm going to have to wash the food processor. And I still haven't taken a shower in two days. <laughs> I've been too tired. But that's fine. So we'll see if this works. I'm going to use all of it. And actually, I learned this from Big Man's World, so thank you. Cool. And how to make flour. So. Turn down the volume, please. And my mom hasn't called yet, so she's probably still talking on the phone, so that's good. <laughs> I'll call her in a bit. It's working. So you can make coconut flour, I think. So I'm pretty sure it's just coconut shreds, but you have to keep doing it over and over again. So I hate coconut though. <laughs> Whenever I use a food processor, I only use it in the day or before midnight because it's freaking loud. <laughs> but let's see if it works. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's like all like flour. There we go. Yeah, it looks like flour now. So that's how I make coconut flour. <laughs> I gotta see how much coconut flour is. I think last time, I know almond flour is like $14, $15 for a small bag. So I'm pretty sure coconut flour is the same.
with it. Still have to keep going a bit. There we go. It looks like flour more. I forgot to wash my hands. <laughs> oh well. I did wipe them. So, coconut flour. That's good enough. It doesn't have to be like <clears throat> completely small. I might keep doing this, but. I also have to give just a few more medications, so hopefully it's gonna work. Fingers crossed. So I'll set that up for now. Although my cats have not been eating their food lately, so I think it's because they know I put their uh, medication inside. But I'm going to put speckles in his room while Josephine eats hers. So I'm going to try to trick them. Because <laughs> I'm really getting tired of putting it down her throat. So this is a medication. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine left. Eight left. So, <sighs> hopefully it works. <laughs> like I said, I hardly ever give them this kind of food, so I think it should work. But I'm going to put uh, Josephine in her room, the cat room. See, like, that's the size of it. So that's why I got this stuff. And hopefully they're gonna like it. And then whatever they don't eat, I mean, whatever I don't use, I'll put in another container. But, ugh, I'm getting tired of uh, getting bit. Uh, and there goes my mom. <laughs> Told you guys she's gonna call when I'm recording. But <clears throat> I'm not gonna stop recording. I don't think the noise goes. But I gotta give Josephine her medication. So then I'll call her back. Always happens. And that's why I tell my dad don't call me. <laughs> but my mom. All she has is a phone. So. I hope she eats it. Because I don't really. If I have to. If she doesn't eat it. Then I'm going to have to take it out of the food. <laughs> and then put it down her throat. So. 
and I'm trying to cover it up. But yeah, I'll call my mom after I give Josephine her medication. Like I said, I've been trying to call her. And I knew that was going to happen. Of course. Because people never call you when, they're, when you're free. I'm surprised. Uh, oh, there's Josephine. Come here. Josephine. You want food? Josephine. Nom nom. <laughs> I think she wants to go out, but it's so foggy. I'm not letting the cats out tonight. It's too foggy, too cold. But for literally today, all I've been done, I haven't done any dishes today. I haven't done any cooking today. All I've been doing is looking after the cats and then I fell asleep after like three hours. And then I woke up and then I went straight to save on. <laughs> I'm looking after the cats again. The water's gonna go on. So now I gotta wash my hands too. So I'll talk to you guys probably like after midnight because <laughs> I'm going to try to call my mom back and then I'm going to do my Twilight Zone stuff and then I'll do a vlogging before I eat. So yeah, she's running away. So talk to you guys later. But I made coconut flour. Yay! So hopefully it works. You're on Phantom Stories. I'll call my mom soon when I go for a month.